beginning? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do I need to do it again? No. <laughs> I like um, Mr. Happy in a video who teaches people how to make money. I'm here today to share with you about saving money. So since I was little, I was taught about the value of money and how we should not be wasteful. A good example would be during dinner time, man. As a little kid, it can't be helped that there would be like rice left over on my plate. And my grandma would always say, gin. Do you know that the amount of rice left on your plate is the amount of dent you're going to see on your future wife's face? <laughs> <laughs> and the next, next thing you know, the plate was spotless. <laughs> as I grew older, the strategy didn't work as well anymore, but the idea and concept of saving lasted with me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so why save money? According to Wall Street Journal's jobless rate has just fallen below 9%, which means that the economy is recovering and recession is behind us. But I'm going to give you three Bs here today that will hopefully change your mind. Bankruptcy, broken family, and beggars. This is the cover of Bloomberg Business Week. It says, would you invest in a company that just lost two trillion last year? and has a net worth of negative 44 trillion. My friends, you're looking at a company called USA. These are very worrying signs, even for a country like US. And according to another research done by Australian Banking and Finance on US bankruptcy, which is pretty nosy of them, but it says that at the year ending 2010, there was 1.57 million bankruptcy. And it is, this is 20% increase from the previous year, which is pretty staggering. And next B I want to share with you is broken family. Mail Online says that one out of three children lives without a father or mother. And I've personally known a few friends that have gone through this and it's pretty rough. And if we were to break down and to see what because it's broken family, one of the main reasons is financial issues. And it could be anything from not being able to pay your bills to even not being able to put food on the table. This is all because the cost of living has increased significantly over the past decade. There was this article in The Economist called Jump in the Pump. It says um, the average fuel price was about $3.11 in January. But we all know that it's probably around 350 to 370 now, depending on where you get your gas. And just when you think tuition price cannot get more expensive, next year this room is going to raise your tuition. And soon we'll all be following Sarah and dropping out of college. <laughs> <laughs> the last point I want to make is beggars are all around us. 